I don't think I could raise enough money to, to show how thankful I am for letting us as a family like, have that and have those memories. One of my coping mechanisms was to run. So when mum got ill, I just started to run and then I was running like a mad woman when she was coming towards the end because it was the only relief that I had. And that was kind of my way of coping with it. And then when I lost mum, the only time that I kind of felt at peace a little bit was when I was running. So then it made sense to try and get into the marathon. And I wanted to do it for St Catharines because I was really grateful for everything that they had done for her. So then I got in touch with St. Catherine's and basically begged for a place. And then I remember I was at the zoo with my sister and our children and Aaron called me to say, you and Dean have got a place. And I think I screamed down the phone in the middle of the zoo, I was so excited. And then I rang Dean and we were really, really excited about it. Um, and then obviously it means for us that we can do something for Mam in her memory, which is amazing, but also raise vital funds for St Catharines to thank them for everything that they gave us and have done for her and Richard. Played in loads of golf days that are for St Catharines, but the marathon's a little bit out of your comfort zone. It's not just going to walk around 80 knolls and have a laugh, food and a few beers and raise money. It's something that if you're not in it, you're going to suffer. Obviously, we're a little bit nervous about, me, I'm going to be open and honest that I haven't trained yet. <laughs> but my plan is to try and get a solid three or four weeks of training in. But every time I hear it on the radio or an advert or I get my emails reminding me like, oh, it's five weeks away. <laughs> I, I, I'm not like him, I have to train. So I've been following quite a strict training plan, running three to four runs a week, which is tough actually, because I've got two little ones, a two-year-old and a five-year-old. So I would say the training so far has been a bit of a roller coaster of emotions because sometimes I just don't want to go out and run um, and sometimes I run for the pure fact that I feel like I'm closer with mum when I'm running and it's the motivation, I think if it wasn't for her and it wasn't for St Catharines, the, the motivation for me would definitely be, would have dwindled to the point where I would be questioning my sanity on why I'm doing this. Yeah, it'd be a chore to go it out and run. It would be a chore, 100%, whereas so every time I hit the pavement and I'm running, it's, I know of what, the reason why I'm doing it and that, that's a huge motivation for me. You've, you have got a certain threshold, the mileage where your wall is, like 18 would be what it made, 20, 22 miles. If you're running for something, it's just that, that something will get you through that one mile wall and then before you know it, you're over the finish line. 90% of us know someone that's been affected by cancer, so like you hit that wall and that's when your brain switches to, oh, why am I going through this pain? And then before you know it, you're, run, you're, you're running, you're not thinking about how painful your legs are. And I think because we've had two people be cared for and lost here, that wall won't be as long. Well, that's what I'm hoping anyway. Touch wood. <laughs> we have been doing a lot of social media. Then my children have been selling their toys and they've got a birthday party coming up. And rather than having presents, they've asked for donations to Nanny's charity. Like if anything we had at home, like Facebook selling sites, anything we sell on that goes to it. And then just because I've played on golf days for St Catharines, so we've got a golf day at Sweetwoods out towards East Grinstead on the 29th of this month, which we're gonna aim to raise a minimum of another thousand pounds. If anyone wants to donate or knows anyone that can donate prizes to either auction or just the prizes for the day, then get in touch with you or Gemma. Yeah. Dean and I always wanted to do a marathon and we wanted to do the London Marathon. And the fact that we're doing it for her and Richard and for St Catharines, I just think she'd be so proud. And she would have just absolutely loved it. And whenever I have like a really tough day of training and sometimes I'll like have a little chat with her when I'm running and I just can hear her saying, you know, come on, you can do this. You'll get through it and really supportive. And I think she'd just be really proud of us, wouldn't she? Yeah, 100%. She'd take the mick out of him though, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> this was the, want of a better word, this was a good ending to a bad situation. This was a nice, calm, ending so it was like if you're going to raise funds to keep anything going you'd choose something like this so why wouldn't we and it's just like if one more family can get what we've got just from Marilyn being here and Richard being here then job done. I don't think I could raise enough money to, 
to show how thankful I am for letting us, the family, like have that and have those memories. So as every penny that we can raise is, is just a thank you for everything that St Catherine's did for Mama Richard.